Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and this is the next part of the advanced array animation tutorial that I'm doing. So before I get started, this is about the twelfth time I've tried this, and a Blender keeps crashing on me. So I'm just gonna keep continually saving, and if it crashes, I'll just open it back up again. So we're on 450. Now let's go up to 600. All right, so let's change the color. Let's go ahead and make this uh, kind of a light bluish or a light pink kind of thing. Let's go ahead and make this a baby blue. So you got the baby boy, baby girl colors here. Press I, I to insert keyframes. Make sure you're hovering over them. Go to 750. Now, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and make this. Let's make this light green. We haven't done that yet. Right about there, and then we'll make this dark. Let's make this like a dark orange, I guess. Okay. I, I, and then for 900, we'll just do the starting colors again, which was green and red. Okay, so I'm gonna save it really quick. All right, so now let's go ahead and, um, whoops, let's go to the very first frame. Let's start skimming up a couple frames here. There we go. Let's press F12, see how that looks. Uh, it looks okay. We need to change something. So let's go to the render tab here. Let's go ahead and turn the threshold up to, let's say, 215. Oops, that's 25. 215 there and that'll just uh, make sure that each see what I mean it keeps freezing on me so yeah sorry about this anyway but uh yeah so what we need to do is go to the render tab here turn threshold up to 215 and uh, what that does is it makes sure that uh, every single oops let's go back every single cube and edge on that cube that's one of those glowing lines uh, we actually might need to turn that up a little bit more let's just turn it all the way up there's no point in not turning it all the way up okay so uh, I don't think it rendered mmm okay <laughs> Uh, they really need to stabilize this version. So let's just do that one more time. Save. I'm going to have to save a lot more. So. Wow. This is really crazy. Uh, Sorry about this, guys. But this is the only way I can do it right now. So, anyway, so we know it works. It, it'll look fine. But uh, next thing we want to do is go ahead and add some stars. So that would be in the world tab. Stars. Now, if you zoom out a little bit, you'll see how many it makes, and it's just a t it's quite a bit. So let's make the separation a hundred, one hundred. And then if we zoom in and out again, that'll be fine. So. Let's go ahead and change the lighting. So if I let's just scrub through. To, uh, let's where okay so it's Alt Z here. So now that we have this, let's go ahead and change the, the lights a little bit because we don't really have enough. So we'll have one pointing this way, and then press Shift D, and then we'll have one pointing that way. And then we'll make this lamp. Let's say point one. No, that's too much. Let's just decrease this one a little bit. Let's make this 0.8. Then we'll make this one 0.25. And then that should stabilize it. Saving this key right now. <laughs> F12. We've got some discolored ones, but that's just because of the lighting. So, uh, Sorry. It's 
kind of crazy. This is kind of why I wanted to do my tutorials on Blender 2.49, but you know, it's just got to work through it here. Just fixing it to make sure everything looks good enough. Okay, so saving. Let's see where we are time wise here. We're, we're good. So let me make sure I saved again. You can never be too certain. That looks, that actually looks pretty good. Well, it looks very flat. So let's go ahead and go into renders. And let's just change some stuff up here. So uh, I'm gonna, let's turn on full sample motion blur. So let's go up a couple frames where it's doing something really fast. We'll press save first. And I'll press F12. And now this is going to take a while because um, it's moving very very fast so uh, until this is done I'm just gonna pause it very quickly so one second okay sorry about that uh, what the problem was I, did, I had the motion samples on zero so let's just turn this uh, to one or, or was that the problem I had last time no so if you press F12 here you see what's happening is barely any motion blur so let's try motion samples don't freeze okay I'm sorry Oof, this is a little ridiculous, but I still love Blender. Anyway, let's go back. Where is it? Here we go. Let's, let's try three. Now it's going through the whole process it needs to do. Um, I'm, that's a little too much, so. Let's go ahead and try two. I'm pretty sure two is our winner here. Um, actually that might be still too much so let's just see one one more time and if not if it doesn't do anything we're just gonna keep it at two so actually let's just go up a couple more see two and then we'll see two okay anyway So now it's going through the whole motion blur. Uh, e either we're going to use motion blur or we'll just use vector blur. We'll find out. But uh, Okay, so. Um, let's go to the first one. Let's actually just turn motion blur off for now. So let's go to number one. Here, and let's set up everything for compositing. So let's, do they have that yet? Compositing, here we go. So you're going to turn on use nodes with compositing no selected. Select this here. Here. And then you want gonna select this, press shift A, output viewer. And then you want to select backdrop here. But um okay one more thing. What we're gonna do here, go up right about there. And then we're gonna render it one more time with the motion blur off. There we go. Now we have this. So let's save it. Okay, and this is where we will start next time. So, and I'm very, very sorry for the quality of this part because of Blender crashing. So I apologize for that. So next part, we'll do some compositing. All right, guys. Thanks.